was in New York. I went to some museums, a couple Broadway shows. I do remember Wicked during Wicked, him like sitting, uh, waiting for the intermission. And I'm like, you can make it, come on. And as soon as the intermission started, him running to the bathroom. You know, having a kid already with type 1 diabetes, I don't think we wanted to believe that it was real. And so it was only sort of at that moment that we said, okay, we really should check his, check his blood sugar. And so I remember giving him the checker and sort of hoping it wasn't the case, but uh, it was. When I first found out I had diabetes, I was very surprised. The first thing I thought about when I knew I had diabetes was Will because he had it too. When I was six years old, so in 2010, um, I was diagnosed. Uh, I don't really remember too much because just of how young I was, but uh, I do remember them in the hospital with me to cheer me up and play with me in the game room. So that was always nice, put a smile to my face, but it was definitely a scary time in my life, so. It's always hard when a child is diagnosed with diabetes, and it can be doubly hard when a second child in the family is diagnosed with type one diabetes. For me, um, I'm not proud that I started crying automatically and I was devastated. Um, even though I knew he'd be okay, I just didn't want to go there again. On the other hand, Drew had the advantage that his family, his parents, his older brother could support him along that journey of a new diagnosis of type 1 diabetes. We were fortunate enough that we had that relationship with Ashley and Dr. LaFell and Jocelyn. So you know, the first time around with Will, we saw the pediatrician, then I had to go spend a few days in, um, in the hospital, and that was hard. Uh, do a lot of learning. This time, we just went straight into Joslyn. Ashley, that's the first person I met when I was first diagnosed. Ashley dropped everything, said, come right in. It was Friday, three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, told her what was going on. And she said, you know what, just get in the car and come in. You, you can get here before we leave. Um, let's see, he sounds stable, come in. Maybe we can get him and get you right home. You might not have to go into the hospital. So we went in and she stayed late and got him situated, got us situated. Um, and we just went home with the supplies. She teaches me like different things like which pump I should maybe get, or like about my CGMs, and helps me with my blood sugars and daily doses. And they've shown me what perseverance is. Diabetes is something that can hold people back in their life, and Drew hasn't had it for nearly as long as Will, but it hasn't stopped either of them from doing things that they love, like sports. I'm 148 going sideways. So. I'm 101 going sideways. It's good numbers. We've been making progress even since the day that Will was diagnosed to where we are today. There's, there's been a lot of progress in how they treat and manage the disease, but it's still a horrible disease. And I'd love to see an end to it. I hope for my kids, for my grandkids, for everyone. I dream of a day where there's a cure for diabetes. My big dream.